Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about preventative screening searches and in particular tobacco use. I have broken it down into two separate videos. This one will identify all your tobacco users and the following video will identify all patients that have not had tobacco use assessed in the last year. Now there are a few different ways to enter in information into a patient's chart in regards to tobacco use. The best way to enter information is to enter it as a lab value. This uh, is reliable and dated whether the patient records a history of smoking in a quantity or zero. Now if you haven't already done this, uh, added tobacco to your physical history vitals, you can do this by going to the TOPS website and uh, listening to the video custom lab data entry and this will walk you through how to get that going in your EMR. Now probably the most common place for this type of information to be added is in the lifestyle band. Now the problem with this is that it's there's so much inconsistency in how it's entered. Uh, there is a details category that I is not at all searchable or reliable as in a search so I recommend against it. Actually the note can be searched so that's good. Now obviously if a date is added or not that's not always reliable. Then there is this negative uh, history uh, area. So there's a lot of different areas so there's a lot of permutations and combinations of how information can be entered. I recommend that this be used as uh, the story so, you know, patient smoked from 1994 to 2002, uh, quit in 2002 and restarted basically the story of what people are doing. But we can still search it, so the note version, so I will show you that. Now the last way to uh, put information about smoking is actually inserting it into a note and you can write uh, information into a note as party uh, smoker 10 cigarettes per day. Now although this is searchable this when you're searching within a patient chart is one thing but if you're searching through the whole EMR for your patient panel this will crash your system. So it, searching for any information within a note across a whole panel of patients is a bad idea. So it's not a reliable place to be putting that type of information. So let's just go to the query builder and I've built a couple of queries that help me search. Now the first one we're going to show you is the tobacco users the lab version. So this is where you've been inserting it into your physical history. So we're going to search for patients older than 16 years of age with an active status and we're going to search for those that have a lab information entered that is greater than or equal to one unit of tobacco daily. So we run this report and this is a test uh, EMR so there's not that many patients entered but this is reliably brought in patients that have uh, tobacco history. So at this point going forward it would be a great idea to actually use lab as the way you enter in tobacco use. Now we're going to go to lifestyle. This is a little bit more complicated. So we're looking at patients older than 16 with an active status that the tobacco status is not negative. So that means that they haven't had the bottom little checkbox checked off. But we're also looking for patients where they don't have in their note the words never, non, quit, and nil. So we don't want this to match. And those are the most common ways that information is entered into the note relating to a non-smoker. Now, so if we run this report, 
we do we get a list of smokers uh, but it's you know the information will vary depending on how the information was put in and as a clinic you might have to add different or change these up to get rid of or add in uh, different types of ways that you've added it in so you can see it's a really convoluted and different and hard way to do it but it does get you the information well good luck <laughs>